as you're kind of going and building your business, there's different things that you're looking at, right? Like one, it's, if you're in a business for a while, you realize there's things that are going to kind of punch you in the face. And it's things like you're fighting with your spouse constantly about money or about time or about whatever. You're dealing with frustrated customers. You're struggling to hit timelines. You're answering calls all day long, working to put out fires versus actually pushing your business forward. You're trying to get all your paperwork done. You know, you, you end up going to bed at 1 a.m., only get up at 3 a.m. And, and try to restart your day and go back at it. It's struggles of trying to keep staff working and fighting to get invoices paid and making payroll and if you've been in business for any kind of time, all of those feel true. If you're starting a business for the first time, these are all things that will happen to you if you're not properly prepared and you want to be properly prepared. And look, the goal of owning a business isn't to be stressed out. The goal of owning a business isn't to be sitting there going, why am I doing this every day and pounding my head up against the wall? The reason why you're actually wanting to own a business is because at the end of the day, there's, there's cars you might want to own. There's vacations you might want to go on. There's time you want to spend with your family. There's houses you might want to buy. The point is, is that, you're really trying to live a life that you want to live. It's about where do you want to live? It's about how do you want to live that life? What do you want to do? What are you truly excited about? Now you can be truly excited about your business, but if it's not making you money and it's not giving you free time, it's not really a business. That just becomes Dennis a prison. Is, to Dennis's point, remember, you know, our belief is your business is a tool to help you live the life you want to live. Has to be. business is a t exactly this business is a tool so think about that saying this business is a tool to help you live the life you want to live so you know what does that look like all those things Dennis just talked about you get to design that and then you get to build your business to give you that <laughs> and and it's your choice um, and what we've done with this when we've done with this class is you know we'll go through the tools today but in the class we're going to give you the tools one at a time and go through help you populate them and help you actually understand how to implement them to get the benefit from them to go build your business to provide these things you want in your life so to do that just grab a pen and paper right now if you have it or think about this in your head number one how much money are you currently making right now either through your job or through your current business write down the money you're actually taking home for yourself then the second thing I want you to do is I want you on the other side of the piece of paper, write down how much money you wish you were making instead. Now let's say you're making $2,000 a month and you want to make $8,000 a month. Let's say you're making $8,000 a month and you want to make $120,000 a month. Write those two numbers down. Now when you subtract the difference, like if it's 2,000, 8,000, that difference between two and 8,000 is six. That $6,000 is your ignorance tax. That's what it's costing you to not know the stuff we're going to talk about on a real time level. Now, when you think about a business, what it's really about, it's about driving enough money into your life to live the life that you want to live. And most people that run a business will end up in a situation where all they're ever doing is paying themselves the leftovers. And that's why the vast majority of businesses make 5% net profit or less before they finally fail. And so what does that actually mean? Well, if you were to actually sit down with most people that run a business and say, hey man, how much do you pay yourself? And they write that number down. Then you ask them, if I had to fire you today and pay somebody else to work your job tomorrow, all the tasks and everything that you do, would you say that you'd be able to afford to pay that person? If the answer is no, you're not paying yourself fair market value for the position. And most businesses, when they get to a position where they were to take what they think is fair market value for the position, there's no profit left in the company. It's only profitable if they're not paying themselves. Our definition of a successful business is a business that not only pays the owner for all the work they're putting into it, but makes between 10 and 15% net profit. And Greg and I have talked to a lot of businesses who say, man, that's not possible in my industry. And we work with industries like wineries to renovations companies, to retail stores, to online businesses, to marketing companies across the board. And everybody's got a different story about why high net profits aren't, aren't available to them. And time and time again, we broke those paradigms. I think we have, at one point we had an excavation company saying my industry will never do more than 2% net profit. And at the end of one rolling 12 month period, it was at 22% net profit. So it's all awesome. possible if you know what you're doing and you understand these fundamentals we want to teach you about today and go deeper to in that class. And to just kind of put the icing on the cake for what Dennis just told you, because that's hugely important. <clears throat> Imagine you're two different people. You're the, Hey, I work in the business. Here's my job. I get a fair salary for that. And you're the, hey, I'm the owner, and I should make 10 to 15% profit of my revenue. Hey, guys, Dennis Tagman here, and thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you go to presenticlass.com. We've got the entire thing laid out so that way you know how to take your business from startup 
all the way through to sale if you want to. And the things to look up in between as you're going. Also, if your business right now is in a situation where it's just not giving you the lifestyle that you want or things just aren't going the way you want to, you need to fix it. Presentingclass.com is also built to help you out as well. So check out presentingclass.com and we'll see you there.